What up YouTube, it's Otis RHW. Another quick video here, Lime Rain's been released, so I'm going to show you guys what it is and how to do it. I uh, decided to do this on Internet Explorer because I figured that's what most people be using. Alright, so first off, well here, I'll go to Lime Rain. This will jailbreak the iPhone 3GS, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen. Not the second gen, not anything else, third gen and fourth gen. The iPad and the iPhone 4. iPod Touch 4G. Read it. I don't want to have any people saying it didn't work on their second gen. Because no, it doesn't. Alright, so before we go here though, that's what it does. It only works on Windows, not Mac. So if you have a Mac find somebody with windows or maybe tomorrow green poison will come out but we're not even sure about that but the first thing you want to do before you do any of this no matter what firmware you're on you want to download tiny umbrella and save your SHSH blobs um, your SHSH blobs are a ECID it's electronic chip ID um, so that's like a social security number, a fingerprint for your processor. It's a set of numbers that is specific to your one device. It's unique to your device. So if you save them, it only works for your device. That's it. It's for your processor. If you accidentally updated or something happened to your phone or your device and you had to restore in the future, and say Apple came out with 4.2 and you wanted to downgrade to 4.1 because it was an untethered jailbreak or whatever the only way to do it is if you have your SHSH blob saved that's why I'm showing you how to do this so I highly recommend doing it alright so you come to this website the firmware umbrella.blogspot.com links will be in the description underneath the video bottom right corner there's that little arrow thing click on it it'll drop down the whole description the link will be there so if you're on windows which obviously you're gonna be because that's all this works for uh, tiny umbrella works for mac and everything but the jailbreak only works for windows so uh... so you pick um, tiny or you pick windows here down here then you click save and then save it to your desktop so it's easy to find which I already did but you'd click save and then I'll save it to your desktop alright then you go to lime rain it's l-i-m-e-r-a the number one then n dot com go down to the bottom here where it says download for windows click to download for Windows same deal click save save it to your desktop right here click save which I already did so I'm not going to do it okay so then we'll minimize this now before you do this while you're doing this iTunes is going to pop up so go ahead and open iTunes and minimize it to about this size like I have on my screen here okay so that's a good thing to do when you open Lime Rain I'll show you but move it out of the way of iTunes because otherwise it'll get in your way alright but before we do that we're gonna save our SHSH blobs so my device I have an iPhone 4 it's plugged in via USB cable and I want an open tiny umbrella which is this right here so go ahead and click on this and you'll get this screen right here once it opens now if you click on this and it says it gives you a security warning just click yes accept whatever because it edits your host file in iTunes that's why it's popping up and asking you if you trust this it is safe millions of people use it go ahead okay so then you get this now click 
you have your device plugged in it should say iPhone uh, iPhone 4 4.1 this jailbreak works on 4.0 but I'm using 4.1 I'd recommend that you did too because it's got a couple little bells and whistles that you probably like okay so if you're not if you're on 4.0 go ahead and update in iTunes connect your phone update it <coughs> and you'll be good to go okay so now after you're updated you're on 4.1 your device is plugged in on the USB cable it recognizes your device whatever it is iPad iPhone iPod touch third gen iPod touch fourth gen it'll say it right here then click make sure it says it if it doesn't say it click advanced options then click this drop down arrow find your device in here you can scroll right here set it to that make sure this says Cydia right here not Apple see how it says Apple make sure it says Cydia <clears throat> and then go up here and click save my SHSH right here okay now it says down here it's processing the SHSH request asking Cydia for SHSH blobs okay see that it says SHSH successfully saved Cydia does have your SHSH blob so that means you're good you saved them they're on Cydia's server you can always downgrade in the future go ahead and close this alright now we got our phone it's still plugged in you can have an iPod, iPad, iPod touch 3rd gen or 4th gen iPad and the iPhone 4 or the 3GS make sure it's plugged in same deal now go to Lime Rain EXE right here see it open this up click run now click make it rain okay I'm gonna click this in a second but it's gonna ask you to hold down the home and power button this is the power button on the top this is the home button in the bottom you're gonna hold them both down then after that it's gonna say to release the power button keep holding the home button and make sure this is not behind iTunes you can go ahead and leave iTunes open, have this off to the side, away from iTunes, so you can see it as it's telling you to go through the steps. Okay, so now click Make It Rain. It'll say Waiting for Device. Entering Recovery. You'll hear a couple beeps on the computer. It's perfectly normal. And it's, now see it said Hold Down the Home and Power button. So that's what I'm doing ignore iTunes whatever it's doing release the power button keep holding the home button just ignore iTunes now it says in DFU mode wait keep holding it until it says done just to be safe exploiting done okay there you go see the raindrop that means you're good to go now on these little boxes just go ahead and click OK X out of this iTunes box and X out of the Lime Rain box alright now my device is like off whatever turn it back on hit the power button it'll boot back up I'm gonna pause this because I don't know how much time I have I'm going to pause the video until it boots back. Alright, now it's booted back up. Oops. Oh, hold on. I'm going to set up my Wi Fi so this goes a little faster. Alright, sorry about that. My Wi Fi was wi uh, password protected. So I just want to put the password back into it. I restored just to show you guys from a fresh install you do not have to restore you can just go ahead and do it after it's done you just have to make sure you're on 4.0 or 4.1 4.02 or 4.01 so 
4.1. After it's done, you'll have Lime Rain app. It might be white, might be a green raindrop, whatever. Touch it, open it up. It'll say loading installers, and then you'll see Cydia. Go ahead and click on Cydia. Now click install in the top right corner. And I'll say downloading Cydia. Unpacking Cydia. It'll say respringing. Please wait. So now it resprung. Now you have Cydia icon on there. It might be white too. No big deal. Touch that. Now I'll say reorganizing will automatically close when done. That's normal. I'm going to pause it, save time. When it's done, I'll come back. Alright, now it just reorganized, resprung, slide to unlock. Go back to it. Hit city again. Now it's going to ask you, what are you? User, graphical only, hacker, plus command line, or developer, no filters. You want to pick user, graphical only. If you were a hacker, you wouldn't be watching this video. So go ahead and pick user, graphical only. If you don't, it's going to give you a bunch of packages that you probably won't even know what they are, and they can be dangerous. And you can always go back and change that at a later date anyways. I'm going to pause this while it does its thing, and then I'll come back again. Because it's going to reload the data, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now it reloaded the data. Now it says there's an upgrade. Do the complete upgrade in the middle. Complete. Go ahead and hit confirm, <clears throat> top right corner. Now it's going to install all the packages for the update. I'm going to pause it while it does this. It'll probably um, reboot or respring. I'm not sure. Yeah, it'll ask you to reboot the device. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause it while it does all that. Alright, now that you did the update, you should have the icons on there. Cydia and Lime Rain. See them? I don't know if you can see them, but it'll be a green raindrop and a maroon colored application called Cydia. Now that we're jailbroken, we don't need Lime Rain anymore. So go to Cydia. All that app does is install Cydia. You'll still be jailbroken. We're just going to install the little raindrop. <clears throat> Alright, so you need to go to search. Open up Cydia and then go to search on the far bottom right in the black bar and type in Cy Delete. C Y D E L E T E. Touch that and then click install in the top right corner. And then click confirm in the top right corner. Let it install. And then it's probably it my, let me see. It'll reload the data, it'll install the whole package, it'll ask you to reboot. So I'm going to pause it and reboot. Alright, so there's a bug in Lime Rain. It's supposed to be able to uninstall itself, but it doesn't. That's why I told you to go get side delete. So now just hold your finger on the icon. Just like you delete a regular app, it'll get a black X in the top left corner. Touch the X. It'll ask you if you want to delete it. Click delete. And there it goes. It's gone. And that'll uninstall all your Cydia applications. That's just a little bug that's in Lime Rain. This is the same procedure no matter what device you have. So whether you're on an iPad, iPod, or an iPhone, you can do exactly what I just showed you, and it'll work. There is a little bug with the 3GS, but I got mine stolen, so 